Good morning, Bradley Charbonneau here from Licoma, and we're just about done moving this this website. What we've done already in the first step was we backed up everything from the original John Likes domain. We did a backup of the files and of the database. Then in step two, we went to the new host, which is just an IP address for now, and we uh, restored the files and restored the database. But now what we need to do is go over to the, uh, we need to go to the domain registrar, so where the domain is registered, and tell it John Likes is no longer pointing to the old address, it's pointing to the new address. Now, as I mentioned uh, before, I only use Google Apps for Mail now, so it's sort of nice about moving a domain. We don't have to do a thing. We don't have to tell the mail, uh, we don't have to change the mail at all because the mail is sort of separate. The mail is going through Google. So all we need to do is we need to log into GoDaddy and change this old IP address to the new IP address. Um, to get a little technical on you, I'm going to go over here. I'm, so I'm logged into GoDaddy here. I'm at johnlikes.com uh, domain and I'm in the domain manager. Now because this domain is um, using Google Apps for Mail. Over here, we have it set to, yeah. How can I explain this? It's set so that it's set so the DNS manager is in an advanced mode. So the DNS manager here, it's saying, I'm going to launch this DNS manager, and I can give you the techno babble, but basically it's saying. The domain, the hosting of the domain is over here at this IP address, but the mail is over here at Google. So that's why I split it up here in GoDaddy with uh, the DNS manager. So all I need to do here now is change this one from the old one to the new one. I'm just going to copy that. Go over here, there's a new one, 667212. Yep, that's it. So I go in here and edit, change. Uh, or do I do save? Save? Save. Save zoning file. There we go. So now I save. So now uh, uh, John Likes is the, it's, it's called the A record. It's basically the the files, the hosting, the website is pointing to a certain domain, a uh, certain IP address, and that's where we had set up John's new account, which you would get from your new hosting account uh, when you set it up. So now all we need to do is wait, and in anything from two minutes to two hours to two days, it will kick in, and John Likes will be hosted at the new hosting account. Some things to not forget in the future is to cancel the old hosting account, especially if you're paying for it. Make sure you cancel that account. G give it a few days. Make sure everything's working, everything, all the files are transferred over, and then you can go cancel that. But now we, we've done it. We have backed everything up. We, we downloaded it. I would recommend holding on to those for safekeeping. We've moved the, we uploaded to the new host. We now changed the domain name and now it's just a matter of time before uh, it kicks in and John Likes will be hosted at the new hosting company. So that's it for now. This is Bradley Charbonneau from Licoma, moving WordPress from one hosting to another. Bye-bye.